All right, so from the sublime to the ridiculous, because last video I talked about the good news about France putting abortion access, abortion rights into the Constitution. Well, now we have an article of someone who basically is proof as to why France did this and why we need to protect ourselves from, well, morons and assholes and people who think that just because of their skin color or their sexuality or whatever, that they deserve more rights than others. Which is ironic considering what I'm about to talk about. So, SEAL Team Staffer. Now, let, let's remember, he is working for the show. Claims he was denied scribe gig after being white straight male. Suit backed by Trump aide Stephen Miller's MAGA Legal Foundation. Because of course it is. So... He was denied a, from what I understand, he was denied a, a gig on a show he was already working on. I mean, it's not like this was a entirely different job. Not that that would make him any more um, deserving or, non -des or undeserving of working there but all right the DEI wars raging in red state America have made their long expected arrival in Hollywood with support from one of Donald Trump's closest aides a SEAL team staffer has filed a discrimination lawsuit against CBS and Paramount Global claiming he was denied a writing position on the show because of being a straight white guy <sighs> Now, we don't know what his qualifications are. We just know he's a staffer. That could mean anything. So, okay. Do you have any other credentials besides being straight and white? It gets better. Defendants fail to hire or promote Mr. Benneker, due to his race, sex, and heterosexuality. The jury trial seeking complaint from longtime SEAL Team script coordinator and freelance scribe Ben Benneker bluntly says, so he's already a writer, or, well, he's a script coordinator, but he's a freelance scribe. So, okay, so he does have some writing credentials from, that's what I take from this. Benneker complains in the complaint that he has suffered for, by not being part of the favored hiring groups, that is, they were non-white, LGBTQ, or female. Yeah, nothing says I'm bigoted against those groups than screaming that you're being discriminated against because you're not part of those groups. <sighs> Something tells me that his not being part of those groups had absolutely nothing to do with not being given the gig. And the illegal policy, illegal policy of increasingly attack diversity, equity, and inclusion measures. Now, think of this irony. Diversity, equity, and inclusion sh somehow means the opposite. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Again, I highly doubt that you were not given a gig because you're straight, white, and male. It might possibly be that you just aren't good. I mean, there's a lot of great reasons to not get a job. Um, screaming that you're discriminated against basically 
says that you feel like because you happen to be straight, white, and male, you should be more privileged than everybody else and should be given whatever you want. So, yeah, this isn't the flex you think it is. It continues. In fact, Benneker claims in 2019, he directly asked current showrunner Spencer Hudnut why a man had been hired as a staff writer by previous showrunner John Glenn after the TV executive producer told him there were already too many staff writers and there was no room for CBS to hire him. Um, okay, uh, you're probably right that you were, that they were blowing smoke up your butt, but probably for not the reason you think. Hudnut indicated it was because he was black, the complaint asserts, with no additional evidence submitted. Yeah, I'm thinking that they probably either A, changed their minds, or B, were like, yeah, we have to give him some sort of a reasoning as to why we're doing this because, um, well, we don't want him. Again, no reason is given. I'm sure this makes it to trial without being completely laughed out of court. We'll find out why he didn't get the gig. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say they didn't want him because he's not good. Or at least not or at least not good enough. I don't know. This balancing policy has created a situation where heterosexual white men need extra qualifications, including military experience or previous writing credits, to be hired as staff writers when compared to their non white LGBTQ or female peers who require no such extra qualifications. The filing adds while taking stripe swipes at writer's assistants and others who were promoted. Counterpoint, they do have those extra qualifications and just because you don't know about it doesn't mean they don't have them. I just love this idea that because you're dealing with protected classes that they somehow must be dumb shits who can possibly be able to do what a white guy can do. Because, yeah, that makes sense. I'm sorry. Uh, just because someone is more qualified than you doesn't mean that um, they aren't really more qualified. They just happen to get through because they're a protected class. Uh, no. So I'm taking from this that they either A, wanted someone with military experience, because this is called SEAL Team, so they probably wanted a writer who actually knew what the hell they were talking about, knew at least some, some um, information that could be used to make this seem more believable. Obviously, they inject a bit of Hollywood into it, but, you know, they want something believable. Okay, that makes sense. And previous writing credits. Um, well, there are a lot of jobs that require you to have previous experience. This is hardly new. So, I'm not sure why this is something, something um, extraordinary, something that's unusual. That happens a lot, dude. And now, so, but I'm confused. First, you said that you were told that there weren't that there were too many writers, and now you're complaining about extra qualifications that you need. So which is it? Did they tell you there were too many writers on staff or that you didn't have the necessary requirements? Because it can't be both. It's either one or the other. So it sounds like, just like all of 
Trump's um, filings, that they're just throwing shit against the wall, hoping something will stick. While continuing his job as a script coordinator, Benneker penned three episodes of the David Boreanaz-led series back in 2019. He has another one supposedly set to be in the eighth episode of the upcoming seventh and final season. In production, that season seven script was co-written by SEAL Team co-executive producer Dana Greenblatt, who is a woman. Okay, so... In that context, the February 29th filed suit from Benneker seeks $500,000 in alleged lost wages and an injunction requiring defendants to offer plaintiff a full-time job as producer. Yes, nothing says I, I should be hired to run things than I'm going to sue you until you give me my job. I mean, no... How privileged do you have to be to think that if you don't get a certain job that that automatically means that you should sue them and force them to give you that job? Now, unless you can pr truly prove discrimination, which this numb nuts has not done, um, then it's just simply a case of you suck, and you're not wanted in these positions. I I just do not understand this mentality of everything should be served to me on a silver platter simply because of my gender, my sexual orientation, and my the color of my skin. Because... These protective classes are not saying that. They are saying they want to be treated just like you. They want to be seen as a person who has skills as opposed to hiring white guys because simply because they're white. Totally different system. I can see where some people might get confused, but it's not the same. All right. Backed by former Trump White House advisor Stephen Miller's nonprofit, Benneker also desires a federal court issue a declaratory judgment that CBS and Paramount Global's de facto hiring policy violates the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Are you fucking kidding me? Plus, he wants a permanent injunction barring the defendants from violating applicable non-discrimination laws. Translation, I want to be hired for whatever job I feel I, I'm, I can do, regardless of whether other people think I can do them. Because being a straight white male gives me privilege. And so I don't have to do things like follow the rules that are meant for everybody else. Dude, you have a job on this, on this show. Do what they feel you're good at. Now, if you feel like you're not being appreciated at this job and you want to have upward mobility, if that's how you see it, then find another damn job. Just like anybody else why are you suing them especially since it's so obviously frivolous <sighs> now let's put some real public on the table sorry real politic on the table i can read really i can the money is one thing, as are the other court order relief in this grievous file filled battle against Paramount Global's so called balancing policy. However, Benneker will almost certainly find himself coming up short in securing a staff writer slot on SEAL Team. The deep in production show is ending in the next year after its upcoming seventh season on Paramount Plus, 
which means it will be done and dusted a long time before the sideshow goes to trial, let alone gets a verdict. Which makes this whole, whole lawsuit even more curious. Why is he filing it now? Especially if this supposedly happened in 2019. I mean, dude. Do you, did you know that the show is ending? Or since he's dumb enough to file such a frivolous suit, maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's going to come into work one day and wonder why nobody's there. He, he seems to be that stupid. But Benninger and his America First Legal Foundation lawyers know that. That's not the real goal here in what is clearly another culture war shot against Tinseltown's bow in this year's election. The real goal is scoring points against the source of some of the Democrats' biggest donations and juicing up the MAGA base. Slammed in the 12-page complaints for violating the Civil Rights Act of 1964 with their corporate inclusion or representation policies, CBS and Paramount Global declined to comment on Benninger's action today. To that end, if or when they do, this post will be updated. Ah. Deadline has also reached out to showrunner Hudnut's agency CAA for a statement on the remark and implications attributed to the industry vet in Benneker's suit. If or when we hear back from them, we will also update this post. Benneker has worked on the soon to shutter SEAL team since 2017, and before that was a script coordinator on Sons of Anarchy, Missing, and other shows. Okay, so he does have that going for him, all right. Telling of where this is coming from and going, Benneker is represented by San Diego firm J.W. Howard Attorneys and the America First Legal Foundation. Of course. All the greatest hits. Ever since the Supreme Court knocked down affirmative action policies in colleges and universities and missions last year, AFLF, has been filing suits with the likes of Starbucks, Morgan Stanley, and other companies in an attempt to end inclusion practices at said companies. Just listen to this. Affirmative action is racist. So we want you to go back to when people were racist and hiring white guys just simply because they're white as opposed to black and brown people who should be slaves, I guess. I mean, what the hell? Getting the entertainment industry specific, getting entertainment industry specific, the AFLF sued Facebook owners Meta, the Association of Independent Producers, and an ad agency, BBDO, on behalf of James Harker, the white male electrician who claims he was denied work promotions because of the ACIP's double the line policy which is intended to promote black, indigenous, and people of color workers to leadership jobs. <sighs> the AFLF haven't exactly been big winners in the court so far. And that is how the article ends. And all I could say is, you know, when you're going, if you're going to do something like this, if you're going to file a lawsuit like this, be prepared to never work in Hollywood again. Because who wants to, who will want to hire a script coordinator or anybody for that matter, who they feel if they don't count out to him appropriately is going to sue them. Of course, nobody's going to want to hire you. So basically, I hope you have another job lined up, another line of work lined up, because nobody's going to want to hire you now. Um, maybe someone like, say, The Daily Wire, they might want to hire you for a script coordinator job. But the mainstream, no, they're not going to want to touch you with a 10-foot pole, because... 
if they happen to have people that you don't like in positions of power, positions that you want, they know you're going to try to sue them to make them. They don't, they don't want to deal with that hassle. So you're basically asking people to do the very thing that you are whining is happening to you. You, you, you claim that you're being discriminated against. Congratulations. You're now going to be discriminated against. Discriminated in this case means people are going to look at what you're doing and they're not going to want to hire you because of the consequences of your actions. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed being a script coordinator on any show because again unless you go to the daily wire i don't know if fox nation does um scripted shows or some type of conservative media that does streaming shows you're not working in hollywood ever again because nobody is going to want to deal with the headache of you suing them because you didn't get the job you wanted. And even worse, that somebody in a group that you obviously do not like gets that job. Nobody's going to want to deal with that. So, yeah, you just screwed yourself. This, this lawsuit is going to go absolutely nowhere. And, and the powers that be know this. I don't know if you do, because you seem to be perfectly fine with this suit, but um, yeah, you can just kiss your job goodbye. Kiss your job goodbye, kiss your career goodbye. You will have to find something else to do, again, unless you work for the conservative media. Nobody else is going to want to hire you because they're not going to want to deal with, with all of this. So, I don't know what else to say about this. That's how the article ends. And that's how this man's career is going to end. So, with that, I will see you guys in the next video.